Hi, this is Patricia Love from Love Healing Hearts. And tonight we're going to talk about sacrifice. Obedience versus sacrifice. What is it God wants? You try to do something God's way. But there are some sacrifices you are more than willing to make that God didn't require of you. And you may take your hard-earned money and help the church out or help somebody out. And God's saying, wait a minute, you haven't paid all your bills. You take care of home. Or you may be uh, running people here and running people there. And you got a cold and you're running them here and you're running them there. And God might be telling you, uh, uh, hey, put the brakes on that. I want you to lay down and get some rest. Because if you keep pushing, you're going to end up with pneumonia. I don't want that. Hmm. Yeah, there are some times when God says, no, I don't want the sacrifice. I want your obedience. It makes you think, doesn't it? Some of us will do everything in the world. But if we want to cuss somebody out, we'll cuss them out. We won't give God that obedience. We'll give our money, we'll give the ride, and we'll give our time. But don't tell me I can't cuss. It's my mouth. I get angry. I'm going to do what I want with my anger. I'll cuss you up one end, cuss you down the other. I'll tell you where to go, where to drop dead, go to hell, and everything else. I'm grown. I'm seven times. I'm three times seven. Guess what? That may be the thing God wants you to sacrifice is that lip of yours. You can talk in tongues to the cows come home, baby. But if you can't shut your mouth when a cuss word wants to fly out of it. What do you think that says to God? You know what God's word says? He'd rather have obedience than sacrifice. So while you're sacrificing your time and your money and your, all this other stuff and your energy and your health, God's looking at you and said, what about that tongue? I'm tired of hearing them cuss words coming out your mouth. How can sweet water and bitter water come out of the same fountain? How, come, how can sweet fruit and, and rotten fruit come from the same tree? Hmm? Figs and apples can't grow from the same tree. How can you bless God and curse man? Oh, come on. God ain't falling for that. You cuss somebody out like, like a sailor and you feel justified because they got on your last nerve and, well, that's what they get. Well, guess what? You spitting that in God's face because God doesn't want that. It says in James chapter 3, these things are not so to be. It shouldn't be like that. It should not be like that. You bless and you don't curse. Now how are you going to curse one minute and bless the next? Oh, bless you, sister. Oh, I love you. Well, you MF, you you just go to hell and blah, 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 and tie to your SH and blah. Come on, you really think that glorifies God? Now, just because you were raised in a house full of cussing does not mean that there is no power to stop. Because let me tell you something. God will not require something of you that he won't empower you to do. I was born and raised in a house full of cussing, I'm telling you. And I cuss like the best of them. But when I got saved, it took me two years because it was so embedded in me. Two years, but I fought that thing tooth and nail. And I don't cuss at my convenience. I don't say the words just because I can. What harm is it going to do? You may not get in a fight. You may not kill somebody. 
but there's something in your heart that starts to get cleaned up when you control your tongue. And you have the power to control your tongue via the Holy Spirit. Now, if you're not saved and you don't have the Holy Spirit, that's a whole nother ball game. And it's self-discipline. But when you have the ability through God given strength, yeah, you can get over all that. All those old habits can change. But you have to want them to. You have to want to please God so much that you do it at the expense of your own rights. I got the right to cuss them out. I got the right to cuss a whole lot of folks out. But for God's sake and for the fact that I represent my Father in heaven, I won't allow it. Do you hear what I'm saying? My husband and I were married 15 years. We never cussed each other out. He never told me to go to hell. I never told him to drop dead. I never told him F you. He never told me F me. He ne We never went there. If we watched a movie and there was too much cussing, neither one of us wanted to watch it. When you clean your atmosphere, I'm telling you, cussing becomes just as offensive as nasty cigarette smoke. You don't want to smell it. You don't want to be around it. You don't want it on your clothes. I don't want my atmosphere contaminated with language that doesn't glorify God. Now, if that sounds super spiritual to you. It's because you haven't really fallen in love with God. When you connect with God, you experience God. Oh, there's nothing too good for him. You do everything it takes to keep that atmosphere, to keep everything out from between you and him so that you could always come together at any given moment with nothing, no sin, killing your chances. Do you hear what I'm saying? God doesn't want sacrifice. God wants obedience. And don't you, please, don't you ever forget that. Because wearing yourself out, he is not impressed. Keeping your mouth shut when you can ball somebody out. Now, obedience like that. When you obey till it hurts, oh, God rewards that. Start trying it. See how it feels. See what he does as your reward. See what he gives you, what you start feeling inside, how you feel his presence or his smile on you. That's a beautiful feeling. God bless you as you choose obedience over sacrifice.